Down in front of the Hood Park gates, outside the new car park in Ashby de la Zouche, there's something going on. Artist Adrian Mokes is installing his latest piece of artwork, a floorscape called Forest Floor. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm brushing out the uh, normal builder's sand that we've filled up the gaps with, and then afterwards I'm going to fill it up with a really nice fine grit gravel. And then in between these areas here, we're going to do a nice pebble mosaic in concrete. Which will look lovely. Hello, here we are in Ashby de la Zouche in front of the Hood Park gates on North Street and I've just this minute finished installing a floorscape called the Forest Floor and it echoes the design of the large sculpture, the heart of the forest that I installed in March um, and I, I worked with three different schools in Ashby, that's uh, Ashby Wilsley, Ashley Hilltop and Ivanhoe College and all together we have 158 artworks by children in the schools. We went out into the school grounds drawing and making sculptures of all the uh, leaves and trees and bugs and the, everything we could find and I've recreated them into a, a permanent steel public artwork that is actually set into the ground. Thanks, welcome. Good morning to you all. Obviously this is a, a special day and I'd like to wish the best to all you guys because you guys along with the artists there, we wouldn't have got this. But there's been a massive will obviously from the town council, North West and everything, so it's, it's fantastic. So uh, I'm delighted to welcome you all here today for this very special occasion to launch Ashby's newest sculpture, The Forest Floor. This sculpture complements the wonderful and already iconic part of uh, the forest sculpture which was installed earlier this year. It celebrates our place at the heart of the National Forest and is a beautiful design that the people of Ashby can be really proud of. It is fascinating to see how our district has transformed over the last few years into the National Forest where there's 200 square miles of mixed habitat forest with over 8.7 million trees planted and what they're not telling you in here as well it is going to be the biggest forest in Europe, so I'll be proud of that. North West Leicester District Council is proud to be supporting the development of Ashby Culture and Leisure Quarter, working in partnership with the Town Council, the National Forest Company and many other stakeholders, which will include local organisations and schools. I'd like to introduce you to the sculptor and the artist Adrian Motes, who has created this iconic piece of artwork with the help of Ashby Wilsley Schools, Ashby Hilltop Schools and students of Ivanhoe College. Please join me in showing your appreciation to Adrian and these talented young people and their creativity and their hard work over the past few months. Now I'd hand over to Adrian to say a few words. Thank Adrian. you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely to see so many familiar faces here this morning. It, it was it was really nice of you to um, take on this project. It's about it's just over a year ago since I worked in your schools, isn't it? And um, do you remember when we went outside and we drew, we found as many leaves and bugs and insects and flowers and we drew trees and then we went back into the classroom and got lots of wire out and materials, didn't we? And made lots of lovely artworks. Well. Altogether, I worked with three schools, and there were over 500 artworks that you produced. You all, you all did between about two to six or seven artworks each. So, can you imagine how difficult a job it was to choose one from each of you to put into the uh, the sculpture? Um, so, there are actually 158 artworks in the in the in the artwork here, the forest floor. And as you remember, it's to complement the big sculpture, the, the Heart of the Forest tree sculpture. Um, and it was a little extra project that I wanted to do because everybody in Ashby had been so welcoming and I always like to involve the community as much as possible in my work. So it was a way of sort of saying thank you to 
Wendy May and her fantastic team of district council, and to Jack and the town council as well. Um, it was an extra project that, that we planned to do right from the beginning, but we actually we kept it secret for a while. Um, and it actually turned out to take me about four months actually working every single day, making about a square foot of artwork in my studio in Manchester. It was a fantastic sort of challenge, but I hope you'll be proud of it for, for years to come and bring your family and your friends to see it as you grow up and remember the things that you studied that inspired you on that day I worked with you and how much you loved going out into nature and how much you loved drawing and making sculptures, didn't you? So I hope you're proud of it and thank you all for coming. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all for attending today, and uh, the Chairman of the District Council, of course, uh, to unveil this, what we think is the, a wonderful piece of artwork, which fully supports Ashby's position as the town at the heart of the National Forest. All at Ashby Town Council fully supported and congratulate Adrian, and appreciate his undoubted creative artistic skills. We hope this amazing collaboration between Adrian and the, our local schools, school children, will inspire you to become famous artists and accredit your schools and to Ashby Town. Thank you very much.